Okay. I'd like to call the meeting to order. May we rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Dr. Carr. Okay, and it's got to be up. What about when I um, when I administer? The I think we thing. should get the mic. We'll get mic. Can you get us the mic? Thank you. Okay. Please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of Superintendent of Schools of the East Meadow Union Free School District according to the best of your ability? I will. I declare you duly installed. Thank you. Oh, you have to sign. I don't believe it matters for this one. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, oh, I skip one portion. Please note that the East Meadow School District is a smoke-free school district, and in the event of the emerg an emergency, you'll note the exit sign. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'd like now to administer the oath of office to the new board members um, in alphabetical order. So, Allison, please. <laughs> okay. okay, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States? and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties as trustee of the Board of Education of the East Meadow Union Free School District to the best of your ability. I declare you duly installed. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, you just have to sign also. Okay, Allison, <laughs> sorry. You have to sign also. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just right there. Okay, and next, Jody Luce. Okay, <laughs> please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York and that you will faithfully discharge the duties as trustee of the Board of Education of the East Meadow Union Free School District to the best of your abilities? I declare you duly installed. <laughs> I'm just done right here. Okay, thank, thank you. Okay, and like a motion to appoint a district uh, clerk. <laughs> Anyone se second? Okay, Alisa. And Matt second. Okay, well, to appoint Jeannie Puma as the <laughs> district clerk. <laughs> okay, all in favor? Okay, thank you.
Thank you. Um, motion to appoint Joan Franciati as the district treasurer. Eileen, okay. anyone second? Okay. <laughs> Jody second. Uh, Matt second. Both second. <laughs> okay. Motion carried then. Joan Franciati is district treasurer. Okay, and actually we have to administer my oath after the um, voting of president. Yes. Okay. So do we have a uh, nomination for president of the Board of Education for the 1920 school year? Okay. Do we have a second? Okay. You have that? Jen? Melissa. Yeah. Eileen. So, Eileen. Okay. All those in favor? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Matt Melnick for President of the Board of Education. Okay. So I uh, am Vice President. Do we have a nomination? Okay. Do we have a second? Uh, I mean, uh, I'd actually second. Okay. I withdraw my second. All in favor? Okay. All opposed? No? Okay. So, Mr. Melnick uh, for president, Alyssa Baruch for vice president. Okay. Uh, Mr. Melnick, if you could come up, take the oath. Okay. <laughs> Do you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York, and that you will faithfully discharge the duties as President of the Board of Education of the East Meadow Union Free School District to the best of your abilities? I do. I declare you duly installed. Thank you. Thank you. And, okay. Right here. Alyssa. I'm oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I don't think I got it. I got Jean, Jeannie. Okay. Please raise your right hand. Okay. Do you solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York and that you will faithfully discharge the duties of Vice President of the Board of Education of the East Meadow Union Free School District to the best of your ability? I declare you duly installed. Oh, congratulations. Uh, yes. Just right here. Right on that slide. Thank you. Okay, Mr. President. Okay. All right, there's a script, right? There's a script. Okay, so. would you want us to? Do you sol solemnly swear to support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New York and that you will faithfully discharge the duties as district clerk of the East Meadow Union Free School District according to the best of your ability? I do. I declare you duly installed. Thank you. Congratulations. It's actually not a note of resignation. Just, just an admonition. Yes. Okay. So, um, 
what you have to. Have I, I will yeah. Thank you, Jeannie. On with the agenda for reorg. Uh, first, if someone would like to make a motion to uh, appoint Ingerman Smith as the school general counsel for the 2019 20 school year. <clears throat> Dr. Eckers, second. Ms. Napolitano, all in f any discussion? All in favor? Seven, nothing. Excellent. Uh, someone would like to make a motion to appoint Ingerman Smith as labor counsel for the 19 20 school year. Dr. Luce, second, Ms. Tell. Any discussion? All in favor? Seven, nothing. Excellent. Someone like to make a motion to appoint Ingram? Uh, nope. Uh, Hawkins, Hawkins, Delafield, and Wood as uh, bond counsel for the, for this district, 2019-20. Ms. Napolitano, second. Ms. Baruch. All in favor? Excellent. Seven, nothing. Would someone like to make a motion to approve capital markets to provide financial advisory services to the district? Ms. Napolitano. Second. Dr. Luce. This is financial advisory services? This is financial advisory services. Oh, okay, it had a reload. Sorry, I had the other one. No, it's okay. okay. All in favor? Seven, nothing. Someone like to make a motion to approve Cullen and Danowski LLP as independent audit services for the district. Dr. Eckers, second. Ms. Baruch, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Excellent. Do, 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 do. Uh, next one, would someone like to make a motion to uh, authorize the superintendent of schools on behalf of the district for impartial hearing as an impartial hearing officer in connection with 504 matters. Dr. Luce, second. Ms. Baruch, all in favor? Seven, nothing. That was, sorry, I'm going off two different things. I apologize. So uh, next is, yeah. Uh, would someone like to make a motion that the board president or vice president is authorized to appoint an impartial hearing officer uh, set forth by in the commissioner's regulations uh, in connection with Individuals with Disabilities Education Act? Ms. Napolitano, second. Dr. Luce, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Would someone like to make a motion uh, that the Board of Education approves uh, the District Committee on Subcommittees on Special Education membership as well as the Committee on Preschool Education and 504 Committees for 2019-20. Ms. Baruch, second. Ms. Napolitano, all in favor? Excellent. Next is procedural resolutions. We'll take this one all in one shot. Uh, unless someone wants to pull one out. Uh, motion to approve procedural issues I, 1 through 20. Someone would like to make a motion. Dr. Luce, second. Ms. Napolitano, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Well, that one was fun. Back to the individuals. <laughs> I'm getting there. All right. Someone like to make a resolution that in the absence of the superintendent of schools for illness or other reasons, the assistant superintendent for personnel and administration shall serve as the acting superintendent. Dr. Eckers, second. Ms. Tell, all in favor? Congratulations, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> would someone like to make a motion for the uh, annual appointments as listed for 
do I, am I listing all these things? For various activities, item, activities and groups and responsibilities. Ms. Napolitano, second Ms. Baruch. Oh. Discussion? I have a question. Sure. We only got one, uh, one RFP back for the doctor and yes. several other. Did we put any of these mm -hmm. other out to bid that we had? There was an RFP put out for the district position and we only received one response. And that's generally the case because you're talking about somebody who's local right. and who has, oh, sorry, thank you, and who has familiarity with the district. So we only received one response. Okay. All in favor? Seven, nothing. Uh, would someone like to make a motion that the assistant superintendent for business and finance be authorized as a school district's pur purchasing agent? Dr. Luce, second. Ms. Napolitano, all in favor? Congratulations, Dr. Pizzo. Someone would like to make a motion that Gregory Batari, Stacy Brez, all of these people listed, <laughs> it went on and on, are certified as qualified lead evaluators of classroom teaching, uh, and be it resolved that Dr. Card and Mr. Russo and Dr. Casamento are certified qualified lead evaluators of principals having completed the requirements in Education Law 13, 3012D. Ms. Napolitano, second. Ms. Tell, all in favor? Excellent. Someone like to make a motion to designate Bank of America, Capital One Bank, and the First National Bank of Long Island as the financial depositories of East Meadow. Dr. Eckers, second. Ms. Baruch, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Someone like to make a motion to uh, establish that East Meadow Beacon, Newsday, East Meadow Herald, and the Westbury Times shall be the official newspapers for disseminating district legal notices, news, etc. I, I know there's no other ones. <laughs> Miss Napolitano, we have it every year. Second. M must they spell the name of our superintendent correctly? It's not a requirement. Okay. It's a very hard name. They can't add an E. <laughs> Second. Dr. Luce, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Uh, where are we? No, payroll. Would someone like to make a motion to authorize the district treasurer in conjunction with the assistant superintendent for personal administration to certify payroll? Ms. Napolitano, second Ms. Baruch. All in favor? Seven, nothing. Would someone like to make a motion uh, to appoint Syntax Communications through a contract with Nassau BOCES as the district's relations for preparation? Ms. Napolitano, second. Ms. Baruch, congratulations. Take some pictures. Trying. I'm trying. Yeah. Trying to get everyone. Oh, you got to call the vote. Huh? The vote. We did that. We just did 7 nothing on that. No? Uh, all in favor? I thought we did it. We did. We did. I'm slow tonight. 14-0 on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next one is a consent item of, as well for the authorizations. Would someone like to make a motion to approve the authorizations in L1 through 11? Dr. Luce, second. Ms. Baruch, all in. Any discussion? I have a discussion. Hit me. All right. Uh, are we still handing out district cell phones to employees? Um, only to people who choose to have them. Um, Dr. Pizzo, would you like to elaborate? <coughs> There's some people. Um, yes, uh, it, it's people who are on call. We do have some of the head custodians. Most of them uh, do use their own phones now uh, with the understanding that if they use their own phones that we, can, we will contact them at any time as if it was a uh, district phone. But there are still some that are using the uh, district phone. We also sometimes with a phone assigned to the school will leave with the assistant head custodian at night as a point of contact. But I'd have to give you, um, I could look up and give you the list of the exact uh, people with the, uh, with the phones.
when I first got on the board, the people were collecting money every month for their, uh, every three months for their internet service. And I just thought that was a little ridiculous. And uh, we did away with that the next year. Um, you know, they're not like specifically using their internet for board, you know, or like we, everybody, they had second phone numbers the first year I was on the board for their fax machines. Mm -hmm. But, you know, so I, I just would consider maybe going forward, not this year, maybe even the following year, maybe we could consider some kind of a better alternative than, you know, still having district phone numbers for people. Right. It, but a, a point of fact uh, related to cell phones, there's still some people who choose not to use their own personal um, phones for district business. Right because once they choose to use their phones for district business, well, then their phones become foilable. And so people choose not to take, use their cell phones. Like for example, when teachers go on trips, they typically will take a district phone. Okay. okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. in, in, the, in my world also, there's many people, not me, who will carry two phones, one for the office and one for their personal. I just wanted to add one other thing. The, uh, those people who do use uh, the, uh, the district phones, they only use it for school business. They can't use it for personal. Um, for instance, I also have a district phone, but I do have um, a personal phone that I'll use for non-district business. All in favor? Seven, I think. Thank you. Uh, next is the adoption of religious holidays. Would someone like to make a motion to approve uh, the use of such days for religious observances may be selected by the school administration for the purposes of adjusting the average daily attendance of pupils in the East Mountain Unified School District and further that the days for religious observance be recognized by the Board of Education as specific school days for which absence for religious observance may be excluded for excused, I'm sorry, for included in the district's calendar. Ms. Baruch, second. Dr. Eckers, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Uh, Someone like to make a motion to re-adopt the policies and code of conduct uh, as found in East Meadow Union Free School District Policy Manual. Ms. Napolitano. Second, Ms. Tell. All in favor? Someone like to make a motion to re-adopt the policies and code of conduct uh, and accept the district's code of conduct policy. Dr. Luce, second. Ms. Napolitano. All in favor? Excellent. Thank you. Uh, next is uh, a motion to uh, for participation in the National School Lunch and Breakfast Program. Uh, then the superintendent of schools or the assistant superintendent for business and finance shall be authorized to affix his or her signature to all claims submitted for reimbursement under the program. Ms. Napolitano, second. Ms. Baruch, all in favor? Excellent. Uh, would someone like to make a... I actually just ask one question about the school lunches. It's too late. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, last year we had made some changes to... And I was just curious if um, what the results were because we were expecting uh, some positive results. Oh, to the con the contract that was done. There's we've, we've received some information on that, right? It was a... And, yeah, it, it was positive. Yeah. How's that? Dr. Yeah, we had um, we had spoke to uh, to Aramark before the uh, before uh, the renewal was uh, considered when we we're uh, towards the end of the year, and we had them put together some information for the Board of Education's review. Um, I will say that it's not um, obviously it's something that we're putting a lot of work into. Um, I think it's fair to say that there's an uh, there's been an improvement. I think it's also fair to say that there's room for additional improvement. Um, just one point of fact that I'll also add to that. Um, during the course of this, pre this past year, um, under the leadership of Dr. Pizzo and Ms. Resenda, we received regular periodic reports regarding cafeteria services taking place throughout the district and where there were discrepancies as it related to the RFP, um, corrective action was taken or enforced by Dr. Pizzo, Ms. Resenda, and our consultant. This past year, we had the consultant who helped to develop the RFP on board on a monthly basis, visiting cafeterias, doing an, ins an inspection to make sure that we were holding um, Aramark to the letter of the law as it related to the RFP. 
and we'll continue doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, would someone like to make a motion to designate uh, the reviewing official, hearing official, and verification official for the uh, free, uh, free and reduced lunch program? Ms. Napolitano, second Ms. Baruch, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Uh, would someone like to make a motion uh, that the superintendent of schools or his designee be authorized to approve staff attendance at conferences and workshops? Dr. Eckers, second Ms. Napolitano, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Someone like to make uh, a motion that board members may attend the following conferences, National School, board National School Board Association Conference, New York State School Board 2019 Summer Law Conference, New York State School Boards Association Annual Convention. Uh, be it further resolved also that other conferences that board member members may wish to attend subject to the approval of the Board of Education. <laughs> Ms. Napolitano, second Dr. Luce. All in favor? Seven, nothing. Uh, would someone like to make a resolution that the superintendent of schools may attend the New York, all New York State conferences and workshops, as well as the following conferences? American Association of School Administration, Association of Supervisors for Curriculum Development, National School Boards Association Conference, and other out-of-state conferences that the superintendent of schools may wish to attend, uh, being subject to the approval of the Board of Education. Ms. Baruch, second. Dr. Eckers, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Whew. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. We are. Uh, next, our board operational uh, or committees. Uh, first, someone would like to make a motion uh, that uh, for the following Board of Education committee members, and we're going to select who's getting what right now. So we have seven committees uh, business, facilities, education, personnel, policies school safety and transportation and the district wide school I'm sorry district wide school safety team Can I have education again? What? Elisa wants education okay can I, can I make a recommendation that um, somebody just very briefly fills everybody in on what the key district. parts of all these are and also the uh, the time the days and times yeah. We probably can't get specific with the days and times today, but we can. Yeah. Or at least. Uh, it could be that you need to be available during, during the day, day or yeah. evening or, or whatever. So do you want to go through each one? I think that would be helpful for all the new people. All right. So um, business, Dr. Pisa. Yes. Sir. How often and when? Okay, so no formal meetings. Next, <laughs> facilities. Dr. Pisa. We have the uh, facilities. We have the the facilities and transportation is on a monthly basis, with the exception of September. Usually, we start in October on a monthly basis. Yeah, it's uh, it's usually on the first Wednesday. That's for um, just for a point of clarification, there's actually two committees. There's, right. there's facilities and there's also school safety and transportation, but they meld together. Yeah. Um, and generally in the past, the person who um, adopted facilities would usually take a critical eye to the overtime report. Um, that tended to be the area of responsibility for the person who did facilities. There wasn't actually any meetings that they attended. so. Facilities overtime report. Okay, excellent. Next is, Next is education. Yes, you, so the education committee uh, meets on Wednesdays uh, at 9:30, followed by access at um, usually around 11 or so. Um, and it's, so it's usually the, usually the second Wednesday, but depending upon if there's holidays. Okay. Uh, personnel, Mr. Russo. I had the pleasure of doing this one for so, a couple years. I can't go anywhere. I, I, I got <laughs> They don't meet. So uh, there are no formal meetings of the personnel committee. 
uh, as far as the policy committee goes, the uh, policy committee meets based upon um, need, meaning, in other words, when we have a revision or if we're adopting a new policy, then, uh, then I'll convene the policy committee and we will take a look at the policy, make revisions uh, as needed, or review a new policy. And, uh, and then I typically call those meetings based upon need. S school safety and transportation. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, there is. Right below education is personnel. I'm sorry. Oh, so if you're not on board docs, there's there's seven. There's business, facilities, education, personnel, policies, school safety and transportation, and the district-wide safety school team, safety school safety team. Yes. yes. Let me provide a point of clarification. Some of these committees are holdovers to the bygone years when we used to have a committee meeting wherein there were reports published for each one of these committees and right. each committee member or the person designated on the board as a member of that committee would read the report. The board has since decided that we will no longer do that. So probably in the next several months or so, we will have to discuss whether or not some of these committees are absolutely necessary. And perhaps by next year, we will eliminate some of them since we are no longer producing those reports, nor are we reading those reports. Because at every board meeting, we attempt to give our public um, transparent information about what's happening in the district and I'm quite sure that this board will continue to do so. So something for us to consider. <laughs> so next is the school safety and transportation. Uh, that meets, uh, I think you said. Yeah, that was it. when I talked about facilities. Right. Usually right. at that, that uh, meeting when the reports produce, we'll talk, about, we'll cover the areas of facilities safety and transportation so i said that's that's kind of melded sort together of combined one and then the district-wide school safety team the district-wide school safety team meets four times a year in september december march and june um, the meetings fluctuate between 10 a.m in the morning and 1 p.m it alternates so in september 10 a.m in december 1 p.m in march it'll be 10 a.m and in june it'll be at 1 p.m you're always so freewheeling with these things. I try. <laughs> OK. Uh, would people like to put their, their flag in uh, a committee that they would prefer? I would like education. She wants education. I'm, uh, I've never done personnel. That sounds interesting. I'd like okay. to stay transportation. Melissa would like to stay transportation. So Melissa, education is Stop Elisa. I'm going to give you, um, Melissa, since one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you're going to get facilities along with that. Is that okay? I'm not such a numbers human being. I would really review that gigantic spreadsheet that we Oh, really? Oh, yeah, sorry. I hate this. I know. Your head's going to explode. I would prefer not to do the facilities spreadsheet, but if that is part of it, I will educate myself a little bit more on that big, gigantic spreadsheet that Pat puts together and I will I, I have deal. A, I have a feeling Dr. Pisa will be happy to walk you through those. I at have the, a feeling that he will be very There's happy a PowerPoint presentation in your future. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> and tonight I, I feel like being the um, point of information guy. Um, Mr. Melnick, as the board president, serves as ex officio Correct. of each committee. So this therefore, he will definitely provide you with some guidance. I absolutely as will. As it relates. <laughs> I absolutely will. So Scott wanted to do this. Okay, so we have who, uh, business. Who wants business? Oh, no. I'll, t I'll take PTA. No, we're not there yet. Okay, <laughs> well, that, that's all I want. So you gotta pick, you gotta pick one. No. So you have, we have business. Policies and district wide school. Uh, I'm never going to write this right. District wide school safety team. Is that what you want to? So you want policy? Scott took personnel. Policies is all you, Dr. Luce. It's Jody on that. So we have business and safety. Oh, oh that's me. 
Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Gee, that's such a hard choice. Um, well, I did. I did uh, safety last year, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, so I'd like to take business. Mm -hmm. Done. And certainly, you if you uh, if you need an extra person for the safety, I would be happy. <coughs> you, because you I should, you should be telling that to Miss Benowitz because she just got school safety. safety. That's the. That's the safety and transportation meeting, no, or no. this is different? This is the dis no, I'm talking about the school safety yeah. team. The this team. is the district-wide okay. school safety team. Yes. That sounds lovely. So that is Ms. Benowitz. So for uh, clarity's sake, the committee uh, chairperson should be, at, or committee members shall be as follows. Business, Ms. Napolitano. Facilities and school safety and transportation, Ms. Tell. Education, education Ms. Baruch. Personnel, Dr. Eckers, policies, Dr. Luce, uh, and district-wide school safety team, Ms. Benowitz. Uh, no, we're not there yet. Uh, and I shall serve as ex officio on all committees, all in favor. Oh, wait, someone like to make a motion for those, what I just said. I make a motion for what you just said. Ms. Baruch, second. Dr. Luce, all in favor. I guess we should have done that. No, we couldn't. Okay, good. Uh, so that is all done. Next is, um, we have to assign a committee. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, so I'd like to make a motion that the access committee and the curriculum committee will be attended by the Board of Education designee for the education committee. Do I have to say the name? Of what I say? No. One and two look almost identical. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Oh, wait, two. Same people. <laughs> Someone like to make it. Well, it's just. Uh, they really should have been together. It, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're the same. So either do the same or we'll combine. Uh, We'll take care of it in post. Okay. Uh, next is the access committee, uh, board of education designee for education, Ms. Baruch. All, uh, someone like to make that motion? Ms. Napolitano, second. Dr. Luce, all in favor? Seven, nothing. Someone like to make a motion uh, that the five point plan enacted by the New York State Legislature requires an audit committee. And uh, the audit committee will be comprised of all board members and function as a committee of the whole. And that the Board of Education Audit Committee meet for pre and post audit review with independent auditors. So I'd like to make that motion. Dr. Eckers, second Ms. Napolitano, all in favor? Excellent. And it's next, Ms. Benowitz, is uh, the PTA liaison. <laughs> Would someone like to make a motion to appoint a board trustee to represent the Board of Education as the PTA liaison for this year? Is anyone interested in that position? <laughs> Ms. Benowitz, excellent. <laughs> Dr. Luce makes the motion. Ms. Tell seconds. All in favor? Congratulations, Ms. Benowitz. Would someone like to make a motion that when necessary, the president will appoint such committees as are necessary to conduct studies on special matters? Dr. Eckers, second Ms. Baruch, all in favor? Second, nothing. School Safety and Transportation Committee, would someone like to make a motion to establish a School Safety and Transportation Committee? It seems late, we already have one. Ms. Napolitano, second. Second. Ms. Baruch, all in favor? So we have to change the order next year, maybe a little. Uh, would someone like to make a motion to establish a district-wide school safety team for the school year and uh, appoint a member who shall be? Well, actually, it's no. a whole bunch of Oh, it's all, it's, yeah. oh that's right, yes. As, as attached, there's a, a literal safety team roster. Uh, someone like to make the motion? Ms. Napolitano? Yes. Uh, yeah, just as a point of information, once again, there'll be an update to the list in that I have to remove Mrs. Napolitano and add uh, Mrs. Benowitz. Is this not exciting stuff? 
It definitely was. They, they missed it by, by one motion, by the way. Would someone like to make that motion to appoint all of those people? Ms. Napolitano, second Ms. Tell, all in favor? Excellent. Would someone like to make a motion to adjourn the reorganization meeting of 2019-20? Ms. Napolitano, second Ms. Tell, all in favor? And congratulations, we are done. Um, Hold your applause. There's more. There's more. The, um, can I, the can I ask that we take a five minute break yes. so that our photographer can take the annual board Absolutely. picture? Yes, please. Are you going to do it in the regular spot or next door? Yeah. Okay. okay. So we're going to be taking um, a 10 minute break. 10 minutes. Then we'll come back for a regular business meeting. It is a short meeting. Not yes. that you're not all welcome to stay and enjoy. Yes. But we may be gone longer than we come back. <laughs> <laughs>